missing that key player on your team and do not have the coins to afford them, make sure you check out Buy Mug Coins for instant Madden coins and always use code SAVAGE for 10% off. Yo guys, what's going on? It's Savage here. Welcome back to another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video. And guys, over this past weekend, we got some new Savages for the squadron. But before I go ahead and show you who they were, we have to address the elephant in the room right now being my weekend league record for this past weekend league. We went 19 and 6. That is our worst finish in weekend league all year long. Our previous worst record was 20 and 5. Ironically enough, both of my worst finishes came right after a patch in the game. Your boy was extremely stubborn this weekend. I tried to force things and I tried to make things work that weren't there and I kept repeatedly beating myself. To, to really just give you guys an outlook of how my six losses happened, three of the games were determined by a field goal. I lost by two points or less. If I kicked a field goal or if I stopped my opponent from kicking a field goal, I won. Two of the games came down to me not being able to score a touchdown. And one of the games, I, I lost. So with that being said, we can definitely say that this past weekend league was user error, me trying to make things happen in essentially a new meta Madden, which is most people nowadays are going to send the house. They're going to send six, they're going to send seven, and, and they are going to try to just get to you no matter if you're max protecting or not. And the reason that people are doing that now is because 335 odd is dead. And the best way to make anything work right now is sending six or more people to get consistent heat, even against a max protected bunch, uh, max protected trips, tight end, max protected, whatever you're coming out in, even if you're blocking seven, the best way to obviously counteract that to get somebody through is to send the house. But me being the stubborn human being that I am, being the person that is thinking, okay, let's just go for the deep shot. I was not leaving enough check downs on the field. I was not capitalizing on offensive situations that I easily could have uh, capitalized on. Waiting for a 25-yard crosser to get out, to get open when I could rat catch a, uh, a route in the flats for about 10 yards and get my yards that way. But no, me wanting to obviously go deep, deep, deep. It's just not it right now. It's not the move in Madden. If you are getting blitzed like heavy as I was, I should have been taking my check downs and I could have made a lot. I, I could have definitely won at least four more games and easily finished 23 and two this weekend. But I am taking full rounds responsibility, even though, yeah, there were some games where my Vic might have missed a throw. I might have, you know, I might have got aggressive caught on this, that, the other thing. But guess what? For as much as that happens, you, you, you got to be able to fight it. I always say I fight the fluke, man. And guess what? This weekend, I, I was just, even though, even though I was getting some fluke and, and some fluke was on me, guess what, bro? I messed up all the way around. Games that were, that were close that shouldn't have been close. All comes down to me making the wrong adjustments on defense. Trying to cover a crosser with man coverage every single play might not be it, Savage. But guess what Savage tried to do? He tried to mess up. So I want you guys to take this as a, as a lesson, man. Because you guys know me. Normally on Thursdays, I finish all my games. I bang out all 25. This past week, didn't do that. Thursday was Thanksgiving. I did a little bit of Black Friday shopping. So all my games were spaced out. I never really was consistently playing to the point where I could get into a groove. And I messed up. I played out of my element. I made stupid boneheaded decisions. It's all on me, guys. And guess what? If you're honest with yourself and your losses, they're not losses. They are lessons. That's how you got to treat it, man. An L is not a loss. It is a lesson because you just got to know what you did wrong. And it took six lessons for me to actually understand. Damn, man. You might want to stop manning up the same dude who's getting burnt every single time because the crosser is the best route and that skinny post is the best route. You know man coverage can't cover that savage. Why do you keep manning him up? Because savage is also stubborn. So, guys, I hope that you guys understand that, yo, listen, we, we take L's too. I'm human. I went 25-0 last week. Guess what? We got six of them this week. Six L's this week, man. Six of them. And guess what? We're just going to learn from them because L's are not losses here. They're lessons. So we got six lessons this weekend that we learned and we understand where we made our mistakes. Guess what? It only motivates me to come out and, and be a better, more savage type savage in this next upcoming weekend league. I can't wait for Thursday, man, because I'm going to play. I'm going to try to get as many games as I can done Thursday. It Hopefully all of them because usually if I'm playing really hot, I can play all of them. And guess what, bro? I'm on top. I'm on top of my game if I can get all of them done. Because guess what? It means that I'm me mentally. It means that I'm clicking. It means that I'm playing and I'm really. If, if I'm playing all 25, that means I'm clicking on all cylinders. 
And that's what I want to do this weekend. Unfortunately, like I said, man, this past weekend, being that it was the holiday, Black Friday, this, that, the other thing, I couldn't get in my zone. I couldn't do it. And then when I did start playing, I just started playing like a bonehead. All the L's are on me, bro. But guys, here's what I'm going to show you now. The upgraded squadron. I really am excited, man. Smack a big fat thumbs up if you are excited, though. For our weekend league rewards, it's looking like we're going to finish in the top 75, which would be great, man. 19 and 6. I know some of y'all are probably like, yo, Savage, why? Don't be so hard on yourself, man. I mean, I, you're, everybody loses from time to time, and I get that, man. But, yo. You know, I always just want to show you guys the best possible rewards every single week. So it kind of sucks for me a little bit that, that you know, I did take as, ma as many um, L's as I did because, you know what I mean, I just like to be able to entertain you guys with the rewards. I know that's something that you guys look forward to every single Tuesday, something I look forward to every single Tuesday. So hopefully top 75 rewards can treat us decent and we could get some more upgrades for the squadron because I'm sure you guys want to see me get Tyree kill and stuff and all that. But guys, so yeah, we didn't get Tyree kill yet, but we did go out and we picked up Keyshawn Johnson. I actually love this card. I think he's an absolute absolute monster got to use him in like half of my weekend league games first half um i didn't really p play with him because i that was like thursday friday thursday i played four games friday i played about like six or seven maybe eight on friday and that was like kind of where um i noticed that calvin was really lackluster luckily enough that friday night when ea sports on twitter released the legends i saw that Keyshawn johnson and i said man i could throw a sprinter on him i could power him up he'll get to 93 speed on my team that'd be crazy so here he is man 93 speed Keyshawn johnson with that six foot four man 93 jump 97 spec catch dude is an absolute beast he's actually really agile for being six foot four i can do those really glitchy one cuts with him absolutely love him like i said man i didn't get the new tyreek yet probably gonna get him soon hopefully but other than that man we got odell we got uh randy we got our running backs are all looking good franco devlin we got every everybody's looking good on the offense but then on the defense man your boy went out i had to i picked up probably the best defensive player in the entire game Deion sanders man 99s across the board this card is a golden ticket 99 speed 99 play rec 99 zone 99 man 80 press 97 excel 96 agility bro and his catching stats 93 and i believe he has like one of the most ridiculous spec catches in the game i think it's like something ridiculous yeah 88 spec catch on a freaking cornerback is actually insane that that's just too crazy and my whole thing right now is is with with spec catches i just feel like it's actually really important to have corners that have high spec catch because then they can go up and get those like cinematic interception animations it's a super important stat in my opinion other than that though i mean the squadron staying the same that limited time to Devion Clowney just dropped last night as well like it still impacts today the, the midnight uh Jadavian Clowney fight he was like the final blitz limited time I'm probably gonna get some training for him in this next in this upcoming week uh from our rewards that we get tomorrow whether we do finish top 75 or if we get knocked out of top 75 but I think we should hopefully hold tight for top 75 probably gonna use most of our coins on training this week uh to just upgrade some of the players that we already have really would like Jadavian obviously I would love that Tyree kill which I think will have a training option I'm almost positive Tyree kill will have a training option in the uh coming weeks I think I think or, or he might not because he's not technically limited he's a set player regardless of where, wherever whatever we whatever it does take to get Tyreek and Jadavian Clowney they will both be on the team in this upcoming week but yeah I mean hopefully we will have both of them before weekend league I want to say maybe we won't have that new Clowney but that new clown, he's probably going to be ridiculous. Hopefully, we could get him to 90 speed. I have no idea what his stats are. But hopefully, we could get that clowny to the uh, 90 speed. And yeah, we will be able to. Because when you power him up on his base card, he goes up to 87 speed. Which means with uh, tier 2 sprinter or tier 3 sprinter and matted, we'll get him up to 90 speed. And we'll be able to get him to also 99 power move, which is in that's disgusting uh wow we're actually going to be able to get this this card is going to be insane on our team that 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 that, that clown he might honestly be able to crack back into the starting lineup depending on how much i like him in our uh, defense that we are currently running which i am going to be modifying greatly just because of the fact like i said man made some boneheaded decisions did some super stuff especially with dion i just thought i was like yo dion is 99 speed he's able to cover a crosser right very 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 wrong but uh, with that being said, man, I mean, that's pretty much it for the lineup update. Uh, I'm trying to think if I added anybody else. I really don't think I did. Yeah, everybody else is just kind of the same. Uh, but yeah, man, I mean, the team is looking insane. The team's looking great. It was just like I said, man, a bumpy road this past weekend. Couldn't really get.
get into a groove so since i was unable to get into a groove i just started playing stubborn and i started playing boneheaded but hey man dude you know, like i said you need them lessons in order to understand you got to be like go back down to earth you, you can't try to throw the ball deep every play and you can't try to man up crossers every play because you're gonna wind up just shooting yourself in the foot and getting absolutely nowhere and that's exactly what i did this weekend and hey man like i said a lot of those losses though three points or lower a lot of them two of them a touchdown it's just all me execution was not there but this coming weekend i value you guys to be back in the top 10 i promise I'm, i promise I'm, I'm not getting less than 24 wins this weekend not getting less than 24 wins this weekend mark my words to it i hope y'all did enjoy this man i hope you're excited for the rewards regardless i hope you guys had a fantastic weekend league as well man but yeah guys probably gonna upload a gameplay later have a wonderful rest of your night <laughs>